try. Well, first day I thought it was an excellent, excellent game. Had real intent from both teams. I thought early on Queensland really dominated the the contact contact zone breakdowns. And really showed <coughs> just they were really up for the game. <coughs> Second half. I felt we really dominated territory and position, and you know, had we have lost this game, I'd be sitting here talking about how we really lost some big moments. You know, we had probably two or three key moments where we didn't come away with uh, points through poor execution. We managed to hang in there, and you know, some wonderful pressure kicks from Bernard Foley you know, got us across the line. Uh, it, it's. Yeah, it's a big win for us. You, know, you can tell by the, the feeling in the dressing room. It's a, a massive um, boost for us, uh, given where we've been. And I think <clears throat> it reinforces, you know, we went back to some basic things this week, uh, and that worked for us. What have you want to see from the, um, I mean, not from just the little things, or what's the sort of commitment you want to see from Yep, commitment, urgency, real intent to represent our jersey, jersey with pride. I thought we saw that tonight from both teams. And I thought uh, the rugby played uh, was excellent. Obviously, there were a few mistakes, but apart from that, I thought both teams showed a willingness to shift the ball and scored some excellent tries. Bruce, uh, Adelaide, how, how did you feel like Marshall Perry was in your fist hunt to the crowd after it? I didn't give a fist hunt to the crowd. Um, no, it wasn't aimed at anyone. It's just aimed in, you know, like celebration. Really, like I was stoked to get that win. It was a great game of rugby. Um, you know, like the Reds came out really physical. Um, you know, I came off second best in one of those occasions. Um, you know, like enjoyable game. It's ebbs and flows. Um, but you know, to get the grind, that win in the second half, uh, really happy for us as an organisation. Yeah, we did hang on, uh, but the way we finished that half gave us a, a heap of um, confidence going in that second half. Um, you know, like Daryl alluded to, I think Bernard um, getting those little kicks, those little touches, our wingers carrying back really well, just kept the pressure on, kept the pressure in their halves and came up with came up with penalties there, of which, um, you know, Bernard's um, del delivered time and time again to knock it over. It's tough to shut it out. You know, we played last Friday, had a really tough weekend, hard look at ourselves. Um, and then you've got to, you've got to aim forward. That's the thing with this comp. It moves week to week. Um, we we're fortunate in the position that we're still in this comp. Um, we knew that, so we had to attack this week. Um, and happy that the guys' intent was, and the coaches as well, have been, been fantastic to turn up Monday um, and start aiming all to the Reds. Um, you know, and, and because of that, that last 20 minutes was a good grind and, and probably due to the good, solid Monday, Tuesday we had. Hugely important. Um, Kiwi team next week um, that can really do some damage um, to any team in this competition. So excited that we get another shot at, um, you know, a Kiwi team and at home. I mean, I think there was a really good centre matchup for for both sides. I thought Davy Horwitz was great, but on Carmichael, yeah, you know, great to see him um, carrying back with some ferocity and, and offloading. You know, it did was danger at times. He got the ball in hand. Um, him and Karevi are a great combination up here, and um, you know, wishing them all the best going forward. Um, but on the flip side, with um, with us, you know, I thought David um, Horwitz really put his hand up and shutting that threat down. Yeah, I mean, he's class, class. He's going to go down as one of the greats play players, isn't he? So, um, enjoyed playing him. Um, you know, I haven't played him in a couple of years and it was a good flashback. And, you know, I mean, he's a, he's a great um, person of, of, of the game. Um, and to see him still running around and still, you know, 
really quality performances um, week in, week out. Um, yeah, credit to him. Yeah, I think because it was so tight, um, you know, it's it's an extra bit of um, sweetness to it. You know, like both teams needed a win, so re really happy with with the with the weight on the shoulders to get the win. I mean, it's it's a isolated, it's nice thing. Now it's time to take the momentum from that and move forward, which which we have to do. Not at all. You know, every match I, <coughs> I, I go into as coach, I feel the pressure to perform and make sure we get that team performing at the level that they should be. And, uh, and as Hoop said, we've had a wonderful opportunity tonight to really gain some momentum on the back of a, a win. Uh, it's a um, massive boost for us and uh, we really need to springboard forward. And we've got an excellent opportunity on Saturday night against uh, the Blues at home uh, to do that. Yeah, I guess you know every every match you play, the referee has an, an influence, um, and you know, I'm not going to wade into that debate around that. I thought it was an excellent match. It was very close. Could have gone either way, uh, <clears throat> and yeah, you're always going to get matches where um, it's going to be tight, contentious. Not at the stage, not the boys singing, <laughs> apart from that. <laughs>